Hi, my name is Jennifer McElroy and I'm an engineer in GRU's Water Wastewater Engineering Department. Today we're going to talk to you about microorganisms that metabolize organic waste that come to the wastewater treatment plant. Technically, they eat your poop. Here in the wastewater department, we call them bugs. These microorganisms come in all shapes and sizes. One of my favorites is tardigrade. It's a multicellular organism that's commonly called the water bear. This little guy is pretty cool looking and he can survive the vacuum of outer space. These microorganisms occur naturally in the environment. You could find them in a mud puddle or a stagnant lake. But here at the wastewater treatment plant, our operators work hard to keep these little guys happy, healthy, and eating. Like a giant bug farm. The bacteria and the compounds that come into the plant feed the bugs. The microorganisms or bugs we keep in the aeration basin where they're given plenty of air. They eat these compounds and break them down. You then transfer them to a clarifier where the bugs are sorted out and the clear water is allowed to go on to filtration and that does filter the water some, but they've done all the work ahead of that. To get a closer look at these bugs in action, let's head to the UF Department of Microbiology and Cell Science. Most people have never thought about what happens when they flush the toilet. They just think it's gone. But it comes to GRU and it comes to the wastewater facility and microbes do all the magic and clean up the water that we contaminate with all sorts of different items. So basically the microbes eat your poop. They eat and eat and eat until they die, leaving cleaner water behind. Clean water that can ultimately be used to recharge the aquifer or irrigate lawns. Here at the Bain Street Water Reclamation Facility, this water goes to Sweetwater Branch and then flows to Payne's Prairie. From Payne's Prairie, it recharges our aquifer, completing GRU's water cycle. So thank you for flushing your toilet, taking a shower, and helping us support our bugs. You can find out more about GRU's water cycle at GRU.com.